How's it going, everybody? Well, it's time for another comic book haul video. Um, I got some more stuff in this week, so I thought I would do a video and show you what I picked up. Um, the first thing that I have here is a graded comic book. Now, I know I, I've said uh, quite a few times on this channel, I'm not a speculator, so um, I also don't really like encapsulated comic books. I like my comic books raw so that I can open them and read them, but it just so happens that this Batman 89 miniseries that they had recently, I was on an auction site and they had this version of a variant cover that um, out of all the ones that they've done uh, for the first issue, I really liked this one. I bought, I did track down an actual raw copy of this variant and um, I saw it on the auction site and I bid $25 and I won it for $25. So um, I was really happy to get it because that's about the only reason that I would encapsulate a comic is just because of the cover because if I want to read them I you know you can't really read them when they're in this thing but I picked it up for $25 I was pretty happy um there's the back cover um it's just really sharp and I'm a big huge obviously um I'm 57 years old so I'm a, Batman 89 is like one of my favorite movies um uh, so um like I said, I bid on it, and I won it, and I couldn't pass it up. So um, that's the first thing that I have here. Um, the next thing that I have is um, J. Scott Campbell had done some co covers for this uh, Catwoman 80th anniversary special back, what, a year or two ago. So on his website, he had autographed copies and... Um, again, huge Batman 66 fan. So when I saw you did a Julie Newmark cover, I'm like, oh God, I got to have to buy that one. So I picked that one up, got it off his website. It's signed, Certificate of Authenticity. And um, then when they had the DC packs at Walmart, uh, everybody was finding like the uh, Cat Catwoman 80th anniversary um, covers and there's another J. Scott Campbell cover and it was one with her in a mask. And I tried and tried and tried to find the comic and I never could. And then he had uh, listed on his website a couple times and I always missed what it sold out and I kept missing it. So the last time he put it on sale, um, he put it up and I grabbed, I snatched it. So there's the second copy or second version of the Batman 66 Catwoman cover by J. Scott Campbell, and again, bought it off his website, Certificate of Authenticity, so now I have them both, and pretty, pretty stoked, beautiful cover, Fa one of my favorite shows growing up was Batman uh, with Adam West, so I uh, picked those up, now the next thing we got here is like my uh, random auction lots, you know, I buy, I'll buy these auction lots and get them for a certain amount, uh, and then it's just like a bunch of random comics in there. So this time I got um, a small batch of Marvel, and these end up costing about 18 cents a piece from what I paid for the lot. So uh, I got an amazing Spider-Man 635, just a random Spider-Man Grim Hunt Part 2. Uh, here's 636, Grim Hunt Part 3. Um, one Moment in Time. Spider-Man 640. Here's 641. Nice negative uh, color cover. Here's number 645. That's a cool cover there. Uh, again, like I said, it was like, what I just say? 18 cents, 17 cents, something like that. Uh, random Iron Man 286. Thor 451 featuring Blood Axe, which is a takeoff on the Beta Ray Bill cover. Uh, New Warriors number 28. This is the first appearance of Turbo. Under 20 cents. Uh, Silver Surfer number 74. Uh, X Men Classics number 73. I believe this is an Adam Hughes cover. Uh, Dark Hawk number 22 with a team up of Ghost Rider. Uh, X Men vs. the Avengers, the old miniseries from the 80s, uh, number 3. A uh, Random Teen Titans number 40. Uh, 
what is this? Uh, Loot Crate exclusive Batman 36. Still in the poly bag. Uh, Black Panther number 19 facing off against Dr. Doom. Black Panther, the man without fear, 514. Again, I don't know how these numbers, how this numbering works. Here's um, 515, Black Panther, the man without fear. Uh, Black Panther, the man without fear, 516, fighting Spider-Man. And versus Luke Cage in 517. Then there was also a couple of trade paperbacks in that lot for 17 cents. So I ended up picking up Fables uh, Volume 3 for 17 cents. And a Captain Marvel Mighty Origins trade paperback. This reprints Miss Marvel number 1 and 2 from 1977 and a couple other issues. But uh, for 17 cents. And then Infinity Countdown Companion for 17 cents. So you can't, you can't go wrong. You know, like I say, what's this? These are uh, $18 for this one. Cover price, $10 for this one. And $15 for that one. So, hey, it's a pretty good deal. Then I got a couple of... Um, Some milk and cheese now i don't really know um these obviously aren't first printings but these i end up getting them for a dollar a piece so this is the seventh printing of issue number one by uh evan dorkin um there's milk and cheese number one and here's uh i think that's number two and here's number three again they're various printing printing so i'm not uh 100 percent Sure, um, I, I I did know when I bought them, but now I forget what what volumes these are. But so there's number four, <clears throat> just a uh, very classic, not un, it's not underground, but humor cartoon comic. Uh, and then here's Milk and Cheese number six six six. So got those um, uh, for a dollar. Then I picked up this one in a lot. I don't remember. I think this was, I, everything's under a dollar. So uh, Captain America, the first Avengers cin uh, Cinematic Universe Guidebook. Another one of these, Mighty Avengers, or Mighty Thor, number one, Jane Foster. Um, Astonishing X-Men, number three. And number one. Uh, here's a issue of Chuck. Number four of six. I was trying to put this run together from Wildstorm. I used to love watching that show on TV. Uh, Hellboy and the BPRD 1953. Um, I'm not sure there's no number issue number on there. And then this one too. This one was cheap, but you look it up. I guess this is this comic here. This um, the Bag Online Adventures, uh, the second stage Turbine Blade number one. This was a, a comic you could only buy at a concert. So, um, yeah, so I picked that one up. I guess it's kind of hard to come by. Um, I'd never heard of it, but it was in the lot. So um, pretty happy to have that one. Then there was a couple of um, Disney comics in another lot. I got the uh, official movie adaptation of Aladdin. And also Beauty and the Beast. So those were under a dollar. Also under a dollar were these next books. We have Star Wars Vader Down number one. Uh, Walking Dead number 132. This is a key. Somebody is in there, I think. Um, a random lost in space from, probably this is from the 70s. But that was in there. That was like a, under a dollar. Um, then I picked up a couple of uh, other books. This one I picked up. Um, I think I got this for half price. So it was Marvel Comics 1000, but it's the She-Hulk 80s variant cover. 
Um, so that one was five dollars. This one I got for a dollar fifty. This is Cartoon Network Presents. This is the first appearance of Dexter's Laboratory in comics. Um, this one was three dollars. Marvel. I think I might have shown this in a video before, or I know this is probably my second copy of this. I don't know why I keep buying it, but I like holiday holiday issues like Christmas and Halloween and stuff. So Marvel Valentine's Day special. Um, that was three bucks. I got the Lion King number one for 50 cents and the Lion King number two for 50 cents. Um, this is a WWE wrestler, wrestler uh, Nash number one from Image. I got that one for two bucks. Nice photo cover there. Um, I was trying to put this set together, so I needed this one. Stanley meets Doctor Doom. There was a couple. They did a ver They did a little series of Stanley meeting all these characters from the Marvel Universe. So this one was four bucks that I picked up. Um, this one was in a random lot. It ended up being seventy-five cents. Fantastic Four Unlimited number one. It's got a, the Black Panthers in there. Here's number two for seventy-five cents. Also, Fantastic Four Unlimited. Um, this one was in the lot, or did I buy this separate? I might have, I think I bought this separate, uh, just because the cover looked cool. Um, it's Night Cry. I got it for a dollar. And then, I don't know if I showed this off before or not, but, um, Ariana Grande has a, a promotional comic book that she puts in her, <clears throat> uh, makeup box, and I saw that she had, a uh, a comic so I bought one and then I saw another one for relatively cheap this was like 15 bucks so I'm really big on promo comics so uh here's Ariana Ariana Grande and Sergeant Shade and the Clone Bot <laughs> Clone Bot Clone Bot Brigade I mean it's nothing it's just a, a, a odd piece that I picked up um then I got this on eBay for $15 uh, the Mighty Thor, number 160, with Galactus. It's in pretty nice shape for how old it is. I mean, there's like a... What is it? Is that a piece missing up here? But for 15 bucks, it was. I thought it was a pretty good price to pick that one up. Uh, a random issue of Elf, number 4. That one was 50 cents. Uh, the Mighty Avengers, number 1. I think this one was also 50 cents. Uh, here's a free comic book day, the all-new, all-different Avengers. It's got uh, Kamala Khan on here, Miles Morales. I believe I got that one in, in the lot for 50 cents, too. Um, then I got a, co a, a, a couple of issues of uh, Civil War. Here's number six. <clears throat> and number seven. Those are 50 centers. Uh, Darth Vader number 25. This is a really nice cover. Pretty cool. That that was a quarter. Um, Force Awakens number five. Um, then these issues of Beauty. Uh, this is a variant. I think this is a, a Jenny Friesen. That one was fifty cents. And then here's number two. Fifty cents. Um. Madam Tarantula. I believe this... I don't know if this is... <coughs> this is issue zero. I, I, have a, I have a copy of this, but then this was in an, another lot, the same lot for, a quarter, for 50 cents. So there's zero, and I believe this is number one. So it's pretty. that's a pretty cool looking series. Um, then Halloween Comic Fest, issue zero... Um, Genesis from American Mythology Productions looks pretty interesting. What is this? Uh, Pellucidar at the Earth's Core, number one, 50 cents. Uh, the Moon Maid, Canacombs of the Moon. That's a nice cover. Again, a lot of the stuff that shows up in these lots are just super random, but, I mean, it ends up, they look pretty cool. 
Uh, here's Beware the Witch's Shadow. Never heard of this one either, but it's a number one. It's a first issue. So, for 50 cents. Um, Carson of Venus, number three. Crypt of Screams, number one. This is a crazy looking cover, too. Creepy. Uh, the Poison Belt. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's Professor Challenger. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so that's the guy that made Sherlock Holmes. So that looked kind of cool. Then this next batch is a bunch of different comics from uh, another auction site. But of course I didn't write them down. Um, Marvel Action Origins, number one, cover A, Spider-Man. Uh, Marvel Action number one, Spider-Man. Again, this has got Miles Morales on it and Spider-Gwen. Oh, this these I got, these were super cheap too. This was in another lot. <clears throat> these were, <coughs> excuse me, back to those 17 cent books or 18 cent books. These were in that same big lot. So they have the Amazing Spider-Man 328. That's a classic Todd McFarlane cover, newsstand edition. Uh, also 335 was in there. Uh, Return of Sinister 6 for under 20 cents. And then 330, that's 335, here's 336. And again, they're all, they're newsstands, so that was kind of a nice, nice uh, surprise there. Um, Spider-Man and the Avengers number one. This is a William Sonoma giveaway. I guess you get it at the William Sonoma store. Um, let's look down there. Not for, not for resale. But again, another promo comic that I, I love to pick up. Uh, then I got a couple more of the Toy Biz comics that came with the action figures. So here's the reprint of uh, Spider-Man 252 with the black suit. Uh, this I think this was with the Sabretooth action figure. Um, then here's a Venom number one, Separation Anxiety, part one of four. This is a, that's an embossed cover right there. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> uh, Ultimate Comic Spider, All New Spider-Man number 10. Again, these were under 20 cents. So um, here's Peter Parker, the, Par Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man number 310. That's a really nice, plain and simple cover. Um... Wolverine number 145 the anniversary issue this is the this one um is the non metallic claws cover cuz i guess the direct market edition came with the um chrome cover and then there was another version of this i think with the bone covers but this is the non um non-silver version then here's another uh, random uncanny x-men number 261 for under 20 cents uh uncanny x-men 297 here's marvel's greatest comic civil war number one this has got a michael turner cover on there that's pretty nice uh here's civil war number two civil war number three Civil War number four. And then here's another number five. And number six. And a number seven. Then uh, Civil War Chronicles number 12. And then Fallen Sun, The Death of Captain America, featuring the Hawkeyes on the cover there. Here's another Fallen Sun, Death of Captain America, featuring Iron Man. <coughs> then I got a little run of some Blade comics here. I got Blade, It Takes One to Kill One, number one. The Spider-Man, and then number four, featuring Santa Claus. I can't wait to read that and figure out what that story is all about. Then a Black Panther number two. That volume. And then here's a Black Panther number two again. This volume. 
uh, saga of Chris Star, the Crystal Warrior number three with the guest starring Doctor Strange. And number nine. <coughs> Again, under 20 cents. Um, Battlestar Galactica number one. Newsstand. Uh, Sectars number five. Rom number eight. Very random. The Infinity Crusade number one. That's a nice shiny cover. And then Punisher uh, War Journal Variant Edition number 12. This is a zombie cover. It's a World War Hulk. Let's, let's get rid of these. World War Hulk tie-in, I guess. And then here's a Punisher number one. I have no idea what volume that is. Uh, Punisher number two. And then Punisher number 11. And number 12. Number 13. 14, this is a, a lady Punisher. I have to read this one and find out what that's all about. And here's number 15. He, he he looks almost like Butcher from The Boys with that beard. Here's number 16. Uh, and then, he, oh, then this one is Frank and Castle. Then I got the run with Frank and Castle, which I was kind of happy to get. These were, I think these might have been, these were probably a dollar. But anyway, it's the, the, the story where the uh, Punisher is, either dies or and they put him back together or something. And he's like uh, Frankenstein's monster. So here's Punisher number 16, featuring Frank and Castle. <coughs> you have number 18. I had the trade paperback, but I, I lost it in the flood of when my basement flooded. So um, I, re I remember enjoying the story. Here's number 19. And then here's number 21. That's a cool cover. There's, there's going to get the Monster Squad there. You got Morbius on there and... Man Thing and Dracula and the Werewolf by Night and the actual Frankenstein's monster and that's probably um, that might be the zo that zombie guy um, and then finally I uh, got some more um, random books this was um, the, this one was twenty one cents now the story on this one I guess is. Um, in the story, there's a box of cereal, and the word shit is on the cereal. I don't know um, if that's that significant. You know how they sometimes the artists stick stuff in the in the in the art. But anyway, there's a, a box of cereal in there, and it's got it says the word shit on there. Ooh, um, then X Men number one, the like all lady squad here. That's twenty one cents, and here's a number four. I got a, quite a few lots lately with a bunch of X-Men in them. Here's number six. So there's going to probably, in some of my view, uh, videos coming up, um, you probably see some of these duplicates. This is a very nice cover. Uh, this is Uncanny X-Men number, number two. <coughs> and then uh, number four is in this. I got it. Here's number two. It's a really nice cover. And then there's number four featuring Magic. Uh, Astonishing X-Men number five. This is a flip magazine. So it's got Astonishing X-Men in there and then the new X-Men. I don't know how common those are. Um, here's Uncanny Avengers number one. I got two copies in the lots. 21 cents a piece. <clears throat> uh, Uncanny Avengers number eight and nine. Here's number nine. And there's number eight. And then uh, Nova, number two. It's a nice cover. And then here's number three. And here's number four. And number 
seven. Number eight with Thanos. So I gotta get rid of this pile here. Um, oops. Then here's the Dark Horse Comics uh, Prometheus. This tied into the movie. Um, that alien, is that, was that a prequel or a sequel? I don't know. Uh, there's number one and number two. <clears throat> and then Stranger Things number one was in the lot. Again, 20, 21 cents. Um, Gambit in his issue, giant size issue number one. Freedom Fighters uh, issue one. Here's the, I don't know if that's, the, that might be the variant, there's a variant cover. I don't know which one's the variant, which one's the actual cover A. <clears throat> Old School Catwoman from 1993, the Jim Valant version. Um, that was in there. The Power of Shazam, number one. Uh, Demon, number one, from 1990. Uh, Ninjak, number one, from Valiant. Nice, shiny cover there. Uh, so this I, I don't know anything about. Nine Volt, number one from Image, but it's a first issue. I'm always about first issues. <clears throat> um, here's BPRD Hollow Earth, number one of three for under 20 cents. And number two. And number three. And then finally, the last couple books here we got is uh, Sylvia Faust, number one, from Image. Don't know too much about that, but again, it's a number one. Wildstorm, issue number one. Bloodstrike, number one. This is the one, I think, something to, to do with that ink on the cover. Uh, Genesis, uh, well, this is the Genesis tie-in. This is Lobo, number 44. <clears throat> and then the last books are, um, it's something called The Silver Scream, and this is issue number two and issue number three. I didn't know too much about these either, but these reprint, I believe these reprint some older um, classic horror comics. So there's issue number two cover, and then there's issue number three. So a little longer than I'd like them. But um, I went through a whole little short box there, so um, we're good to go. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the content. Uh, if there's anything that you saw that um, might be of significance that I didn't mention, please feel free to comment uh, down below in the video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I try to do one once a week or once every 10 days. Um, just sharing my love of comics and... Um, picking up stuff that looks interesting that I really would like to uh, grab and read. So um, fortunately, there seems to be a lot more uh, people that like that this kind of stuff where it's just random stuff and not just speculator channels telling you like, oh, this is the hot comic, you gotta buy, you gotta buy this, gotta buy this. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to say uh, thanks for everybody for watching and sticking to the end. And, uh, you know, uh, like I said, watch out, hit the notification bell. You can uh, be notified of when I do uh, my next video. Uh, I have stuff coming in all the time. Uh, you know, I, I had a problem a couple years back and lost a lot of my stuff. And so I've been slowly working my way back into getting my collection back up to where it used to be. So um, that's why I, I, I'm posting all these comic book videos. But again, Appreciate everybody watching. Um, thanks again, and good luck out there hunting for comics, and I'll see you all next time. Take it easy. Bye.